Welcome back to the channel everyone. Well today I'm going to try and fix something on my 2018 Camaro 2SS 1LE that absolutely drives me crazy. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do in a second, but I know there's a lot of you out there who also have a 2016 to 2022 or 6th gen Camaro that have dealt with the same issue or have the same problem that probably drives you nuts as well. That problem is a rattle, a very annoying rattle that comes from the NPP or the factory dual mode exhaust system. So that exhaust system was put on V8 cars, 6 cylinder cars, maybe even the 4 cylinder cars. I haven't checked on that, but definitely the six cylinder and the V8 cars. And so if you're one of those owners out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The NPP exhaust rattle, it actually sounds like a heat shield or a metallic jingling sound. And it usually happens when the car is cold or when I'm sitting in a drive through or sitting somewhere you know, with the car warmed up, it gets to that certain resonance where things start to rattle around. So I'll try to demonstrate and take some video of what that sounds like and you may get a better idea of what it is. So let's take a watch and see what I picked up on the camera. So here's a little cold start for you. It's hard to hear it, but if you listen right around now, can you hear that little rattle, that little jingle? Okay, now a little bit closer to the tailpipe now, and right around now, you can hear that little jingle. That's the sound that we hear. And that's the sound that we're going to attempt to fix with a very simple modification, and we'll show you how to do that next. Okay, now that you've heard the rattle, you may wonder, what is that? What is rattling? There's a couple different theories on this and there's been a couple different fixes uh, over the years recommended by both GM and, and online. So one of the thoughts is there's a little pin in the flapper valve or in the valve that controls the different flow of exhaust and, and hence the different sounds um, based on what goes through the muffler and what bypasses the muffler. So one of the early fixes for this was to look at putting epoxy on the ceramic pins on each side of the valve which basically hold the valve in place to the shaft which rotates. Now that fix didn't really work out very well because it's those ceramic pins and that epoxy that you apply are right in the exhaust stream or the exhaust path and that hot exhaust basically eroded or wore off that epoxy and then the rattle would come back. This early fix was actually a service bulletin issued by GM. Here's a couple pictures from the internet of right where the epoxy would be applied. So a lot of owners took their vehicle into the dealership, had this epoxy fix done, only to be disappointed months later when it came back, when that all that epoxy wore off. So I think what the problem really is, is there's an actuator which opens and closes the valves, and there's a leg on the actuator, a metal leg, which is not fully engaged when the valves are in a certain position. And that little metal actuator will vibrate back and forth, and that's what's causing that metallic rattling sound. So what we're going to do, we'll show you a picture of that metal leg and that actuator and what the most recent fix is. And then I'm going to go take that valve off the car, put it on my workbench over here, perform the surgery on there, put it back on the car, and we're going to see if it actually fixes the problem because the epoxy solution doesn't last forever. Okay, that'll actually melt off because that's in the exhaust stream. This fix looks like a permanent fix inside the actuator itself. Okay, well here's the photos from the internet and you can see the one on the left had the leg removed. Okay, so now we're gonna take the actuator off. In order to do that, you gotta take three eight millimeter bolts off. Right in that area there. So you can see the bolts on the inside or the inner flange there. So we'll pop those bolts off. Of course, here's a much better picture from the back of the car of the valves and where the bolts are. And one more thing to note, which I didn't mention before, there's actually a harness, of course, that goes to the actuator, um, which controls the position of everything. That can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to actually get your hands up in there and undo and reconnect. But a little bit of fiddling around and contortion, 
you can do that no problems. Well, here it is. I cut it off. I used my handy little grinder here, my little air grinder, and I cut the upper leg of the actuator off. And if you, if I grab the actuator and I move this little disc back and forth, you can see there's some play. I think that upper leg is what's causing the problem. It's jingling back and forth. So probably as the exhaust pulses, this creates this uh, moving back and forth. That's where that contact is. So I'm going to clean the top of it up here, file it down, get rid of the sharp edges. Huck it back in the car and we're going to see if this fixes the problem. All right, well it's back installed and the car is running again and I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up. But there's definitely less of a tinny rattly noise coming from the rear of the car. Um, when I do blip the throttle there is a slight heat shield or maybe it's a catalytic converter sound coming from up front. But back here there's a lot less rattle so I think that was a success. I'm going to drive around for a little while and try to simulate all the conditions that I experienced that sound before, but otherwise, um, fairly easy fix. Well, there you have it. That seemed to fix most of my problems, although there might be a little bit of heat shield in there. So another good thing about doing this repair is to make sure everything's all connected correctly because I found that on my driver's side, the harness or the power to the actuator was disconnected. So someone was in there before me, maybe doing some maintenance or whatnot and didn't reconnect it. Um, and that didn't actuate the valve properly when I selected touring mode or sport mode or track mode or whatever mode I was looking for. So the car in uh, touring mode now is a lot quieter, a lot more stealth. And when I go into track mode, it's a lot louder now. So a big bonus for me to even gain the actuation or the full actuation of that driver's side. Um, NPP valve. So working on your car and learning about things and improving things is always beneficial. You can actually find problems that you never knew existed. And this fix is basically free. So if you have NPP rattle or exhaust rattle, this could be the solution for you and it costs you basically nothing. Maybe in total an hour of your time to do both sides and it's well worth it. Well, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please like, comment, subscribe and share. And I hope you learned something today. So as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy your weekend. And remember, the best time of the year to enjoy your project car is all year round. Keep the shiny side up. And a special shout out to you mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day. Without your support and your help, it would be impossible for all of us guys to make videos like this. Take care.